So a lot of magic don't God happen damn. in here. Damn. He got two king mattresses like put together, but I know they probably. I know it's probably like an actual just huge mattress. Just out my way and watch your way type of thing. My tub. <laughs> That's hard. Yo, he got, but it's flat and there's no dip, so it's just like it's flat, and then the water. So the water just like overflows on the top, but it falls down. And that's tough. Next video, Inside Lil Baby's Stylish Atlanta Oasis by Open Door Ar Architectural Digest. Architectural. <laughs> oh, baby. No, no, nah, I don't like how it's that loud. And why is he so like close up in the mic, bro? What's up, AD? No, right. Welcome to my bachelor pad. So this is my home. I purchased this house a couple years ago and it looked nothing like this. Oh, okay. I got my designer, Anissa, to come in and bring it to life. Got the whole house out completely. Everything in the house I kind of designed to my like. Growing up, I always That's aspired up. to have like crazy houses. Growing up, I always aspired to have like, you know, like, like my house is like how I want it to be. And like, you know what I'm saying? It's like how I do it. It's like why you keep moving I'm from that Atlanta. much, bro. This relax. house in Atlanta, a lot of houses in Atlanta are not like this yet. They are building a lot of new houses, but from where I'm from, this is like a complete zero to a hundred. This is like my bachelor pad, so I have company, some of the friends, some of my guys, and I also have like little parties, like you know Mother's Day, Father's Day. Instead of renting out a place, we just use these house for that. So cool little living space, on the rock sofas. I got on the rock sofas at all my houses. Kind of like these sofas because they're super comfortable and they're kind of low. You can move the middle part up and down. You can lay on it a bit. Okay. I sleep a lot, so this is why I catch a lot of Z's at when I'm here. I wanted to keep the house open so if like people in the kitchen, people in the dining room, living room, showing pool, in the pool, wherever, everybody still feel together. Originally, this whole area like was that. outside. The, the wall maybe stopped from right here. So I wanted them to open this up and expand it a little more. Okay. Put my nice pool table right here. Nice little pieces of art. I love this room too because all the doors open all the way up so it give me the whole little outside feel. A lot of gambling goes on on this table. Pool and a lot of other things. What else goes on there? All right, now <laughs> we're in the kitchen. I love the double island setup because of nine or ten of us, we all would just sit here. Now, the kitchen is almost the meeting area. Drinking, eating. I got leather countertops. I like the black vibe versus like the traditional granite right. or like marble. I wanted to go like black because we do use it a lot and I don't want to like stain it as much as possible. Yeah, this is my bro, bachelor black. pad, so yeah. I don't cook here. I have a chef to come here and cook for us. But sometimes when I don't have a chef. My kids like want me to cook. Just something cool for us to do. Last thing I cook for my kids was maybe like tacos last Tuesday, something like that. If I cook, it's gonna be like something cool, like something for them. They could kind of help me out a little bit. Can I have a few art pieces. That's tough. That's tough. So they can like interact. I get what you're saying. Like so they can like yeah. Starting to get into it. This is a piece from a Black Atlanta artist, Horace Impo Tip. Kind of just give me the vibe of a little young black boy, but in his eyes, a dream for the stars. Mm -hmm. My favorite part of the kitchen would have to be like the Nana windows. They open all the way up. Then kind of gives you the whole. Oh, you mean like that? Inside, outside feel. Oh, that's tough. And you're having like a pool party or people outside. They don't have to yeah. check water. Yeah, and I was about to say, like, you know, you could just have like a bar station right there. Like, you know, 
everybody else uh, you stay you stay outside and then you know drinks will be right there in the house and stuff they come here and get a food from the chef yeah something to drink whatever may have it these are my panel refrigerators to match all my cabinets and whatnot okay don't really have a lot of stuff in here because we hardly ever here water a little gatorade just the minor stuff yeah two refrigerators. i'm big on water i drink a lot of water i will why he say that why he say it like that i'm big on water i drink a lot of water it's like, just like a lot of other people in the world. I don't think that's a, you know, it's. All right. Lately, I've been in my Miami crib, so I haven't been here. That, the last time I was here was for my son's kindergarten graduation. He had a party with 30, 40 kids, and my family came over. I like to have parties here. This is the dining room, which is not for dining, because I love these chairs so much, and I don't want people <laughs> to get comfortable just yeah, getting that dirty looks like a dirty spaceship. Now. Nobody's eating food over yeah. here. This is just a just statement looks. piece. Yeah. I have an Italian imported marble table. I mean, people can sit there. They just not going to eat nothing there. In front of Vitality Collection, and my designer actually came up with that. She designed this table one on one for me, so you won't see this table nowhere else. And she called it the Vitality because it looked like it has veins, like a human heart almost. And because they had to make the table, it took them an awful long time. I almost pulled the plug on the table and just got me a new table. But once it arrived, it was worth the wait, definitely. I got the lights put in on the floor to like resemble a rug. And right here we have the You got lights put into the floor to represent a rug. That's how you know you got bread and you just spending it on stuff. Cause that don't even make sense. It don't <laughs> like not even like a bad thing. It just don't make sense. Mirror panels from London. Each I thought he was just gonna say like I put it there cause it looked cool. I would have been like, <laughs> so would I. But Place. I love that this. Tree's tough. Set that plant right there. That place tough. This is a little That's chill a area. Yeah, Mama chair, I have a few of these. I had a smaller one for my kids too. This is one of the places I can sit down and talk on the phone. Nobody don't sit over here but me. Shoe collection goes stupid. This is my primary wing. The glass doors on the closet. My two sons, Loyal and Jason. This is like an overflow closet. It's the summertime right now. These are like winter clothes, pants. And Whenever I run out of space in one of the other cribs or something, I just bring my overflow stuff here. I have a lot of scenarios. What? Whenever I run out of space of clothes, this is where I bring my other set of clothes in my other mansion. Motion. That's if we can crazy. Pieces in here, I'm sure. This right here is actually an outfit that I wore on tour every night, my last tour. So eventually I'll frame this up and hang it. A couple jerseys from different little states I go to to perform and they give me jerseys. I like this closet set up though. I don't wear nothing in here. It looks great though. Sneaky closet. And a lot of these shoes are shoes that I'm probably not going to wear again. Well, I will wear these. Pair of Yeezys. Not the only, but one of the cool pieces in here. Yo. I used to bring my clothes when I come here to the point where the shoes are almost like art color coordinated. Just some little eye candy for when you walk in the bedroom. This is an infinity couch, which is so soft, feels like a cloud. As you can lay out on it, you know? Ooh, cool little vibe. Right. In this area, I really love the light in here. Nice. I have to change sheer walls. A lot of stuff is like kind of art to me versus That's real useful. Kid. I like that. This I is like one that of those whole places look. that when I walk in, it just yeah, looks super just, sexy to yeah, me. That and looks, this is where the yeah, magic that, happens at. Right I'm not here a lot, so a lot of magic God don't happen damn. in here. He got two king mattresses like put together, but I know they probably, uh, I know it's probably like an actual just huge mattress. Fireplace, nice TV. I like the wall fixture, I and I also space. love the ceiling. Kind of like a piece of jewelry imported from Italy. Nice little swing, you know, ceiling what? joints. I actually sit here a lot though. This is like a cool little chill spot to me. I like to move, I don't like to sit still. So even oh, when I'm sitting. Oh, we sit know. <laughs> Trust, I said it as soon as the video started. And now I'm still moving. Magic can also happen right there too. Why, why you wanna keep telling us that, bro? I don't wanna know that. I don't wanna know that. Trust, I don't. I know you probably doing it for the shawties, but like, I don't, I don't. 
This is my bathroom, which I think personally is one of the most stunning parts of the house. Everything's super oh. clean, like a nice hanging sink. I got a slits in the marble for the water to go down. Keep a double sink, you know? It's out my way, I'm out your way type of thing. My tub. <laughs> That's hard. Yo, he got, but it's flat and there's no dip. So it's just like, it's flat. And then the water, so the water just like overflows on the top, but it falls down and that's tough. That's also imported from see. Italy, weighs a couple tons. We actually had to get it lifted through the window for it to be able to go in here. Amazing tub, I haven't took a bath in here yet. One day I will though. And this is my shower, where I spend most of the time, believe it or not. The shower is where I can Relax. get a peace of mind, get my thoughts together. That's how I be, bro. The shower is where you just like, zone out on everything else and you just calm down you just relax you wind down think about your think life think about how i'm gonna knock all this money off you know so i could easily spend an hour in the shower nice same so could i shower big enough very relaxed relax, i love the right? window vibe a little led like, vibe everything's super cozy in here playing, you then last but not water, least right? i got like the fireplace in the bathroom the vibe. i'm usually super cold when i get out when i first wake up in the morning i'm usually super cold so i can come right here and check my messages or whatnot i love this bathroom where i get a lot of inspiration from the bathroom and the houses being an artist and going to different places i just stayed in a lot of hotels a lot of airbnbs then when i come home i don't got that same feeling so i wanted to have that same feeling when I go to the nicest places in the world and how they bathrooms and how they houses yeah. look. I wanted to, you know, piggy out that a little bit. Little this is my theater room. I want it to be different from my other theaters. These little cubbies, you can have your Yo, own. Like, all the seats and couches he got are all so tough. They're like so different. I've never seen anything like these, like at all. Personal space. You actually can, two people can fit on here. So you got your little date. You know, I got y'all a little movie night. Y'all could be separate or y'all could be together. They also each have a little table, you know, like the movie theater. Popcorn machines and all that type of stuff in here. Sometimes I bring my portable studio where I could just like set it up right here. Just wrap inside of here. I got these like movie script posters all around the room, but this one is the most significant to me. This is the Prime documentary of my life called Untrap. It's actually on Amazon Prime, and you can go and see it. But that's the vibe of it when you come in, movie theater, now playing. And we got a couple more juice boys in this uh, scarf face. You know, got a little wet mark. Yeah, I love classic. candy. I'm always stocked full of candy everywhere. A little cooler. Nice little vibe. Yeah, that really chill, bro. Nigga, this is my bathroom. Yeah, this is my backyard. My kids love swimming. They spend most of their time in the pool. Of Maybe course. I'll go for a swim in the day when I get my kids. Nice jacuzzi, nice sitting areas. I'm outside a lot. I do a lot of recreational things outside. And this is my basketball court. Yo. We spend a lot of time on the basketball court. Good exercise, little workouts. A lot of money's been made here. And lost. Oh, okay. People don't think I can play basketball. But I actually ain't that bad. Show, show the camera. And I'll be show, having show, a lot show, of kids, show, my little nephew, my little basketball like cousins and stuff. So I wanted like three little hoops where they, everybody could use the whole court everybody or use it. different courts or yeah. whatnot. The playground actually come from one of my old houses. Yeah, in the future, I think I'll build me a gazebo like over here or something. Beat, this is another oh, part of the backyard. Said, yeah. Of course, you're going to have a bachelor pad. You got to have a grill. The chef comes and get on the grill. This is actually more of my outdoor kitchen, I like to call it. The stove outside, dining table. I love this area. One of the only places that you're gonna get shade in the backyard for real. So I definitely like this area. Take you a nap, the mosquitoes don't kill you. And it's definitely like a center space for me. I could watch the kids while they're in the pool, chefs in there, people need me. I could kind of sit right here. This is like a midpoint for me outside. All right, AD, yeah. I appreciate y'all for coming to check out my bachelor. That shit was tough. That shit was tough. All right, man, if you enjoyed that video, make sure to check out another video like that. You know, just click it. Click it right here. You don't You don't got a sub or nothing, bro. I'm making it easy. Just, just click the video. It's on your screen already. Might as well. Go ahead, click it.